feel you. Being without electricity for any period of time is not easy. That is why we spare no effort in restoring electricity services in the safest, quickest, most efficient way after a hurricane. Once the all clear is given by disaster management authorities, damage assessment teams are deployed into the field. Our crews survey the damage to the electricity infrastructure across our service territories, identify faults and problem areas, and the resources needed to conduct repairs. Our systems and sensors indicate where outages have occurred, and the assessment process will help to determine the extent of damage waiting for repair. During the damage assessment stage, we ask you to be patient with us and stay safe. Slow down on the roadways, give our utility crews plenty of room, and stay away from down power lines. Stage two involves restoration and critical repairs. We prioritize restoring electricity to critical facilities and the largest number of customers in the shortest possible time. While customer outage reports are being collected through various channels, crews are working across our service territories. Efforts are also focused on any critical repairs needed to the backbone of the grid, including main circuits, transmission and distribution lines, and substations. If you don't see us in your neighborhood, rest assured that boots are on the ground. We then focus on isolated customers in the third stage. These are small pockets of customers who are still without power, although their general area has been restored due to one reason or another. Repairs in these areas take the longest, and we know this can be tough. We ask for your patience as our crews will continue until all services are restored. If you're an isolated case, while you wait, there are still steps you can take to ensure you can safely receive power. If there are any damages to your home's electrical system, including dangling wires, your service stack, attachment hardware, and meter box, hire a licensed electrician for a professional assessment and complete any necessary repairs and government inspections. If your home does not have hurricane-related flooding, check your circuit breaker to assess whether your switches may have tripped. Follow all safety precautions.